Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Today we have another relationship scandal story. Let's get into it. I am so torn with this decision so much that it haunts me. On one hand, I need to make a big statement that I won't tolerate my wife's cheating and disrespect, as it has made our marriage lifeless at this point. Then I also think Valentine perhaps is not the best time to serve my wife divorce papers since it's supposed to be the season of love. Up till now, couples therapy hasn't worked neither has my reconciliation attempts, because it has gotten worse. We even spoke with our pastor for counseling, but I got uncomfortable when my wife will jokingly tell me, she thinks our pastor is cute. She will say the pastor reminds her of her celebrity crush, Jason Momoa who she has confessed she thinks about when she touches herself. I don't know if these were mind games to get us to stop going to the marriage counseling, but it worked, we stopped going. I couldn't stop picturing my wife lusting over a man who was supposed to help guide us through our tough marital times. Even the pastor innocently touching her knees when speaking and smiling needlessly with her at this point was bothering me. She would often laugh back and compliment the pastor's expressions. They both made light of our marital issues for a stupid flirt, as it seemed to me. No, the friendly pastor was not our problem, but he wasn't helping either. Neither of us has been willing to pull the final divorce trigger because of a promise we made to each other, until now, I'm finally ready to walk away. So many emotional cycles I have endured, and I will explain more about this. Yes, there are two sides to every story, but you will understand mine and the actions that has led me to get a divorce lawyer for good. I met my wife when I was 30 and she was 22. We got married two years later in a beautiful church ceremony with a small gathering of family and friends. This were the good memories of our relationship as we were both genuinely happy. However, that happiness would be short-lived. Before I proposed to her, we first met at a mutual friend's birthday party. She initiated the contact as I was just laid back that evening enjoying good food and music. To be honest. I thought she was a little out of my league because she is beautiful. Even till now she is charming, and her presence can command a room. Always has been life of the party and she embraced the attention every time we go out and guys are complimenting her. I should have known what I was getting myself into, but I always thought she is self-disciplined to not entertain dude that comes across her way. She would always say I'm a jealous type but what kind of guy would want to see his girlfriend dance with another dude in his presence, even if there was no touching involved, as she would claim. I was very tolerating, but my wife always liked to tell me I was lucky to have her, and she would embrace the role of a trophy wife, as if it's an achievement. Nothing I do seemed to satisfy her, I received no appreciation for what I do because she would always tell me that I'm a man. These were my expectations as a husband, to protect and provide. Then she would also add how other men, my peers, do more think for their wife and build empires for them. I make an honest living, I don't know what other men do and I don't compare my pockets to any of them. We live comfortably and I can't live beyond my means to impress anyone. I'm the only one that works and provide for our family even though we have no kids, but my wife would often joke she can't look for work because she's too cute to be stressed. She has quit her job at the salon a few months after we met and I honestly have no idea how she had been paying her bills, but she always finds a way. I would ask where she was getting her money but she told me she saved up a fortune so I would stop asking. Looking at her response in hindsight, I think she might have had sugar daddies who paid her, but I don't have evidence to support that claim, so I digress. As for me, I work as a consultant for an insurance company and would often travel a bit. Even after long travels and I make it back home, my wife doesn't seem to miss or appreciate my presence. I would tell her that I always long to come home to her after these travels because I miss her, but she won't even bother to come pick me. She always told me to call Uber home which wasn't a problem since technology has made everything much easier now, but I would come home and find my wife doing nothing but watching YouTube and posting pictures of herself on Instagram. I often tell her that I don't approve the pictures she has on her social media, and they were not suitable for a married woman. She would say I have an old way of thinking and it's nothing wrong with her pictures exposing parts of her body. She would tell me she's empowered as a female, and I can't rob her of her female body rights. Whatever that means, I still don't know. Things get so bad between us and like the therapist counselor advised us, lack of communication is a major cause of our marriage breakdown. 
I'll tell her I'm not afraid to take accountability for what my wife might think I'm doing wrong but how I take accountability for financial difficulty when my wife refuses to work. We have a joint account, and she has no problem withdrawing huge chunks of money whenever she pleases and even fail to pay for the bills that she was supposed to use the funds for. I even walk on eggshells with my wife on petty things like, if I order a meal for myself, I must order the same thing for her, but I must get her something she likes. I am not a mind reader and if I'm obligated to buy food for you every time, I order something, then just appreciate the free meal. Her favorite habit is to walk away and shut the door with the loudest bang, she can use her energy to muster. Picture portraits would fall off the wall when she does this and I'm supposed to pick them up or she complains again that I wasn't caring enough to pick up the picture frame on the floor. I can't watch a TV program she doesn't approve when we have more than two television sets in the house. I would tell her she's free to watch other programs on the multiple TV sets we have in the dining room, and in the bedroom room. She would say watching TV is a bonding time between couples but why must I watch what she wants to watch when all I want to do is watch my sport games in peace. I don't mean to rant endlessly about how toxic my marriage is but writing down all these issues is an exercise I did a while ago to help me understand what I'm going through and analyze everything. I feel like I'm losing my mind sometimes, she's fond of calling me names and putting me down constantly, but the one time I got mad and told her she is acting insane, hell broke loose. I never knew insane was a cuss word which pale in comparison to the worst things she had called me. She said I was implying she was loony and a psycho wife. All these things are so immature, it is inconceivable the kind of arguments we were having. We have had the cliché toilet seat up argument, the who are you talking to on the phone arguments, where were you last night argument and I called you, but you missed my call arguments. I am just done. I started to realize as time went on, that I enjoyed my traveling and time spent away from home than being at home with my wife. This should be the other way around, and I realized it wasn't that way at first at all. I used to enjoy time spent at home when we first started the marriage. I used to believe nobody was perfect and the red flags I saw in her would change as time went on. Then, I noticed things wouldn't get any better because my wife wasn't ready to change but stuck in her ways. It was then I made the decision and suggested to her we should separate. I had this conversation with her during one of her argument moments. She sharply responded that she should divorce instead of separation. I was shocked honestly. But I took her up on her offer and she yes fine. The next morning, she came over to the couch where I slept, and served me omelette breakfast. The aroma of the cooking woke me up actually and I thought I mistakenly slept in the wrong house, because I can't remember the last time my wife cooked anything in the house. She said tempers flared up last night and she was sorry. She asked what I was going to do for the day, and I told her I had planned to look for a divorce lawyer. She laughed and said wow, I wasn't serious and we were never going to divorce, and I should stop being silly. Right on cue, as if I was being mind controlled, I laughed back with her and said I made a mistake. We made up that day and seemed to enjoy each other's company for a brief while again, until the last incident that has grown my frustration to this point of real divorce. Remember the pastor I talked about at the beginning of my story, yes, the one that helped us with the counseling session. His wife filed for divorce and the news leaked to the church. Apparently, the rumor was the pastor was having multiple affairs with members of the church choir. This were just rumors but I remembered my wife apparently worried when the news broke. To my surprise, she was more interested about who he was cheating with and the fact that a highly esteemed assistant pastor was cheating on his wife. The rumor continued to swirl about the chorister apparently being pregnant, but no one knew who the mistress was. A few weeks later a member of the choir suddenly quit coming to church and the rumors intensified that she stopped coming to church to hide her pregnancy shame. Everyone thought she was responsible for the looming marital breakup because she was close to the pastor. Well, couple Sundays ago, the wife of the pastor walked up to me at the grocery. At first, I thought it was an unplanned encounter and I greeted her but to my surprise, the lady came to me and just blurted out, "Hey." keep your cheating wife away from my husband. Wait what? I asked her what she meant, and she couldn't give me details but said I should relay her message to my wife, and she would understand. She said she and her husband are trying to move on and she has stopped the divorce process, but my wife was making it difficult for them to move on because she won't stop texting and calling him. Apparently, according to her, 
My wife has been trying to find out if the pastor was sleeping with a choir member everyone thought he was sleeping with. Why should she care in the first place? Was she the first mistress that didn't know her lover had another mistress? This is my wife I'm talking about, how did I not see this coming? How did she even get this pastor's number in the first place? Again, why am I the clueless person in this whole situation? So many questions and confusion in my head, it seems the grocery store was spinning with me inside. As the pastor's wife walked away after the bombshell, she laid on me, I started to cry. It wasn't manly of me to cry but I just couldn't hold back anymore. I have tried and God knows I was exhausted at this point. It seems the pastor's wife didn't have much evidence details to show me, but she believed there was something going on between her husband and my wife. I believed her. I don't check my wife's phone personally because I don't even have her password. Yet, she checks my phone constantly because she said I was the one traveling with a lot to hide. If I had access to her phone maybe I would have done a phone check, depending on if she hasn't scrubbed her phone clean. I was supposed to go home and ask my wife about what this pastor's wife allegation is about. I won't do that, instead, I'm ready to serve her the divorce papers. When I got home that day, I pulled myself together and told her I have an emergency work travel. Instead of traveling, I just booked a hotel where I am currently staying. I plan to go home before before this valentine and tell her that I'm walking away. I will update this story as time goes on. I'm sure this divorce process won't be easy because she had already told me to be ready to lose more than half of everything if I ever dared to divorce her. Relationship Scandal Community Please share your thoughts on this story in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for the part 2 update.